Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your February 2018 monthly reading. Now generally my readings are love readings so I expect this to be the same. I want you to just take what resonates and leave the rest because this is not a private reading. We're going to get a couple of oracle cards for overall energy. Crown Chakra. And then I will uh, lay out the rest of the cards. Oh, there it is. Ooh, door to romance. This is fantastic. Love could be in your life and, or it could be coming right in. All right. There's a door opening for you. Whether you choose to take it or not is completely up to you. If it could be uh, divinely guided and it could be the answer to your prayers, something that you've been wishing for. All right. This is already a love reading, so I, I knew it was going to be. And it, it really, I can really feel and tell that there's new feelings of love, okay? New feelings of um, happiness, perhaps, coming into your life. There's certainly a chance for a door to open or a relationship to be renewed, okay? I want to make sure that you guys can see those. I will zoom this in here in a minute. Let's see. What else do we have? We are going to go with these. This is for Gemini for the month of February. What do you have for Gemini? You know, it really feels like this is something you've been waiting for. This, this door to romance, whatever you've been... Uh, wishing for in the area of love. I feel like this is a month where it could certainly be happening. You may have been manifesting it, you know, if you've really been dreaming and praying for this happily ever after, you know, there's certainly a chance that this could be your month. We're going to go with what has fallen out. Um, yeah. Okay. There is divine guidance here. There is. Okay. With this Hierophant card, this is divinely guided. Whatever is happening this month, you've been working up to it. It's been coming. It feels like you have definitely uh, been praying for it, okay? And now your prayers are probably being answered. Um, it feels like you've been seeking, 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 and asking, and trusting, and having faith. And perhaps now the door is opening. You've avoided some kind of uh, mess, okay? Whatever this is, you've you've avoided it. Maybe um, there was some kind of breakdown that was going to happen, but it's been averted because this is the tower reversed. It's like maybe you're building a new foundation that could certainly be the case maybe you're having faith that something new is coming ah eight of pentacles this is something you've been waiting for you've been working on i think you've been working on yourself all right i feel like you've really been working on yourself in regard in you know whatever it else it is but this is a love reading you've been working on manifesting your heart's desire or you've been working on yourself so that you could let romance into your life all right i wasn't planning on using this deck i don't use this deck much so please bear with me i was planning on using my other deck but i happened to grab this one for a reason so we're going to go with it you're receiving a gift this month you are receiving some kind of gift. And now this is a love reading, but this is a gift on a tangible level. So you could be receiving um, money. You could be receiving an inheritance. Or you could be just receiving a new person into your life. And I really feel for many of you that's what it is. There's like a new offer. And I feel like in a person is something tangible. It is. If somebody comes into your life and they offer that you their support, their love, their assistance, their being, that's a gift. And I feel like it's something that you have been waiting for, all right? Um, a new door is opening. I see a new partner. 
There's a new partnership for you guys, Gemini. Whether you're in a relationship now or you are single, there could be a renewal. There could be a resurgence of love if you are in a you know, relationship already. But for many of you, I feel like it's it's a new love coming into your life. It's like all of a sudden there's a change of course and it is it happens suddenly. It does happen suddenly. Um in this person could be somebody you know, could be somebody that you've known for a really long time and it's been a long time coming and you've just been waiting for it to happen. Maybe you felt like it was never going to happen. Somebody may have had to go through their dark night of their soul. Maybe they had to go through a breakdown of some sort so that they could head in your direction. Um, there's definitely... You know, I think there's been a period where somebody needed to work on something before they could come to you. Or you, either it was you or them, before this relationship could grow. Um, interesting. I think somebody's been watching you. This is like spying right here. Whoever this is that's coming into your life, I feel like they have been watching you. Um, it could be uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We also have Taurus. Um, but I feel like there's somebody that has been watching you and observing and waiting for that right time to make this offer. Ah, oh, now we have the Devil reversed with the Six of Cups reversed and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so there, this person, you could certainly already know this person, all right? Even though the Six of Cups is reversed, maybe there's been, maybe you even, um, maybe there's been some uh, issues in the past with this person, okay? Maybe before there was, maybe it was just... Um, well, I'm going to say it. Maybe it was just sexual in the past. Maybe in the past. Because I think you know this person that's coming into your life. When I say that there's a new there's a new door opening to romance, I feel like you, there's a new door opening, yes. But I feel like you know this person and there may have been some conflicts in the past. And now this person is looking at things. Or you, either you or the other person is looking at things in another light. Whereas... Maybe it was sexual in the past. Now they're looking at it differently. Like maybe they want more. Maybe they're thinking, you know, I want a commitment with this person. This person, you know, is worthy of perhaps even marriage because this is a marriage card. I feel like there's definitely a chance for somebody that you know to come into your life, somebody that you knew years and years ago, and they've just been waiting for that perfect moment to approach you and make the offer. Maybe they've been working on themselves and you've been working on yourself, and you know, now is the time because eights are the time is now, and we have a few eights here, all right. So I feel like you know, there's certainly a chance that there could be a new door opening where somebody has changed their perspective and they are no longer looking at things in the same light, okay? I, I feel like there's been some lessons that have been learned and, and now they want to make this new offer. We're going to get a bunch of uh, clarifiers, but I just want to get this zoomed in for you. Like I said, I wasn't going to use this deck, so there's a reason for it. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody has freed themselves from some mental trap, okay? And it has to do with a state of mind, okay? Definitely, a mental trap is a state of mind. Somebody has freed themselves. There's no doubt about it. They have, they've come to some conclusion that they're going to go down a new path. They want something different than they did before. I don't know who this is, but... <laughs> somebody has has changed okay and i know that's that's hard to believe but somebody has changed um interesting uh. 
in, oh my goodness. Somebody's been clinging to the past, whether it's you or this other person. Perhaps they thought that it was just lust, and now they've come to the conclusion that it was more than that. I mean, that could certainly be the case. I need to know what this uh, Page of Swords is. Ah, oh, the Queen of Swords. And looking at life from a new perspective. You're dealing with probably a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or this could be you, that is looking at life from a different perspective. You know, completely different than you were before, or they, you know, could be you or the other person. Somebody is being very open to the possibilities now, whereas they weren't before. It's like... Maybe loneliness has made them realize what is. Uh, and they are, they're not willing to let go. I think you're dealing with somebody who isn't willing to let go. They're not willing to let go of the past. They're not willing to let go of you. You know, they're not willing to move on. Okay. Because there's a divine connection. There is a divine connection here between you and another person. It's very amazing. I mean, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, yeah, they want to offer love. They do. This is love. This is a page of cups right here. Um, they want somebody is offering you a new relationship, okay, or a fresh start in a relationship, a renewal, okay? I think it's quite unexpected, okay? I think you're going to be receiving an offer that is unexpected, Um because it feels like somebody is reminiscing about the past and they haven't ever let it go. This person could be somebody from years and years and years ago. Um, interesting. The Five of Swords. This is a split. A split has happened. There's been conflicts in the past with this person. And now it's time. They have decided what what's going to make them happy. You know, it's like... They may be disgusted with their actions, or you may be disgusted with yours, but it feels like there's been some kind of conflicts in the past, and now somebody is wanting to free themselves. They're wanting to be honest and then and then, you know the five of swords they can all mean so much i'm going with the messages that i hear and what i see i i really feel like somebody is clinging to the past with you where it was probably based more on sex and and now they were feeling like they were cheated or they cheated you or they've come to a realization i think somebody's eyes have been opened and now they see that they just can't let this go all right, they just can't let this go. And now they're feeling trapped. They're feeling like they can't let it go, so they need to take action. Interesting. It's like they're feeling defeated. Somebody is feeling defeated, and I don't think it's you. I think it's the person that wants to offer you love. Because they, they just can't. And there are any foundations that they try to build that isn't working out. It's like... It's not working out, it's not working out, it's not working out because it's not meant to be. You know, it's like, it's like, this is the page of pentacles reversed. It's like they've been trying to build elsewhere, but it's not working out. It's not working out because there's a divine connection, perhaps with you. Yeah, justice. This is the card of Libra, but it doesn't mean that you're dealing with a Libra. It could mean that... The finally somebody is accepting the truth. Finally somebody is making a decision. There's karma here. Okay? There's karma. So it feels like somebody has made the decision that they need to take action. And they may offer you some love unexpectedly because their eyes are now opened. They're seeing things differently. Because they went through this dark night of the soul moment. You know, that's what I see. It feels like somebody has really grown up, perhaps. Uh, Queen of Cups. The, yeah, somebody want, is definitely following their intuition um, and are starting to have more compassion. 
you know, for others and for you. I feel like somebody, and it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is wanting to hold your hand. You know, they're wanting to offer you support. They're wanting to love you and be generous with you. I really feel like there's somebody new coming into your life, but you may know them. So it's like a new phase. It's a new, it's something you've been praying for. And you may just have been praying for love, period. But the universe is going to bring you what is next in your life, okay? And I feel like this person is somebody that you know, but this is a new phase. I feel like there's a new door opening for you that... You've been praying for, okay? And I feel like this person has the best of intentions, okay? Whoever this person is that's coming into your life, they're coming because it's the right thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's time. It's justice for both people involved, okay? That's what it is. It's like it's time. The time is now. Interesting. What's this two of wands? There's a new door, and I, I, I think it's this person. Ah, it's somebody that is wants to take care of you. This is a family man. It's somebody. I think that somebody is coming into your life because they want to take care of you. Um, they've gained wisdom. They have. Somebody is coming into your life that has gained a lot of wisdom. This is a strong support. Somebody that is very stable and secure and has made up their mind. All right. I really feel like there is a masculine energy that really wants to take care of you. Either this person is in your life now or they're coming into your life. And that is where your new door opens. It's like all of a sudden there's somebody that comes into your life that has grown up a lot, has gained a lot of wisdom, and perhaps wants to really have a commitment with you well, we got two so ah <laughs> the lover's card Look how beautiful that is there is somebody there is somebody that's going to come in and they're probably going to seduce you and um you're going to have to make a choice it's about, it's decision making time this month. It's like, oh my God, I think that somebody's going to come in. They're going to offer you romance and they're going to be very seductive. And there is going to be a passion that is undeniable. And you may just be like, wow, wow, wow. You know, there's been some conflicts in the past and somebody needed to work them out. And they, I see like somebody has really, really grown up. And now they are probably looking for a commitment um, and to become a partner. They're looking for a real, actual, stable partnership. They no longer want to play games. I am ready to settle down. That's what I see. I think this is somebody that you know from a long time ago that is coming into your life and they are ready to settle down. Because, you know, it feels like they've been they've been going through problems in their life with with other relationships. It wasn't working out, you know, it, there's it's like there's been some feuds with everybody else. OK, it just hasn't worked out with other people. And now they're realizing maybe they needed to change. Maybe they needed to become stable because they weren't offering offering stability to others or whatever. You know, there's destiny here as well. So there's, there's lessons to be learned. So that's why it didn't work out. But anyway, um, there was um, so much feuding in the past with whatever was going on in their life. That's helped them to grow up. Okay. It's like somebody has turned away from the past this is what I see. It's like somebody has decided that they don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to live like this. You know, they've been they've been resisting it for a while. They've been resisting this love for a while and they've come to the point I see like they've things haven't worked out and they can't resist it anymore. 
All right. I can't, I can't be, um, living like this anymore. It's time. It's time for me to find love. It's no longer, and this isn't about you. This is the other person. I feel like the other person has realized that their need for everything but love doesn't serve them, okay? So that's what it is. Like somebody has really grown up, okay? It's no longer just about sex. It's no longer just about money. It's about who I'm going to I'm going to grow old with. That's what I see. It's like somebody has become mature and now they realize I don't want to grow old alone. So I have to offer I'm ready, not I have to. I'm ready to offer romance to you, Gemini. I feel like you are their pick, whoever this is. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to share. I'm ready to give. I've grown up. I'm ready. What is this Five of Swords? What is this Five of Swords? I really don't like this card. It's like somebody has been defeated in some way. Maybe they felt defeated in life. Yeah, that's what it is. I feel like there's there's been um, there may they may have had way too much too much um, fun. Put it that way. Too much fun. Okay, and now now they're to the point where they don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to be a player. Maybe they were a player way in the past, and that's why this is here. There was a split because they were a player, and now they've been played. They've been played. The shoe was on the other foot, and they're like, oh, that was a hell of a lesson, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I feel like. Somebody has really grown up. They learned some lessons the hard way, and now they want to come back into your life. Okay, and I feel that I don't feel like this is somebody from your recent past. I feel like this is somebody from your way, 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 way past, like way past, like when you were young. Okay, and they because I think that you both needed time to grow up, and that's what I see. Somebody is coming, there's a karma here. There's somebody coming back into your life to fulfill the, the karmic debt. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of lust. There's going to be a passion, a lot of passion. And there, it could lead to a firm commitment because this person is ready to settle down. And that's what I see. Interesting. And it's divinely guided. If I haven't told you that enough already, there is karma here. And this is divinely guided. This could be the answer to your prayers. But you may, you may think twice about it because... In the past, this person wasn't so honest, and they weren't, and they were a player. I feel like this person was a player in the past, and you know, you're gonna have to really decide. This is decision. You, you're gonna have to make a decision here because, you know, you this person wasn't trustworthy in the past. Okay, that's what this is. This person wasn't trustworthy in the past, so now you're gonna have to make a decision. Interesting. These are your advice cards. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. This card came out for a reason. Okay? Somebody from the other side is talking to you. They're helping you. Like I said several times, this is divinely guided. I believe that whoever's coming into your life or whoever you're with at this time is meant to be. And that you should. I think that you should give it a chance. It's completely up to you. Listen. Listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. And that is kind of like that um, crown chakra card, okay? That is the I know card, okay? The source of wisdom, all right? So 
you really need to listen it feels like somebody from the other side is guiding this is bringing you together with somebody or has brought you together with somebody okay everybody has to learn lessons along their path to get to the point where they can unite okay anyhow I want to read this again listen quiet your mind beloved one and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request to you listen listen and pay attention to the signs you know could be your grandmother I don't know where that's coming from but it could be your grandmother who is trying who is guiding this okay so just be receptive be receptive to the signs and to this person that you might have known long long ago because it looks like somebody has changed And it's time for justice to be be served okay it is I feel like somebody that you are dealing with has went through some karmic life events that has matured them and they may be coming into your life now to offer you true romance now, I have to remind you guys that this may not resonate with you. This reading is being done in January. So, if you watch it and it doesn't resonate in January, please wait till February before you thumbs down it. I mean, you, it hasn't happened yet. I mean, you can't see my my stats anyway. But you, you always get people that don't even wait for the time. And that's kind of like, oh, what's the word for it? Idiotic. So wait for things to happen. Divine timing, that's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, this is what I have and stay tuned for your weeklies.